Ms. Leo. Um, we're mainly discussing macroevolution, but there's been many scientists, many evolutionists, that are still not sure or going back to square one, as Steven Weinberg, I think, said last time he was here, on the origin of life. Where, how, do, how do we get life from no life? What is wrong, and you even indicated that in your statement, what is wrong with a student saying, well, we don't know the answer to this. Here are the many possibilities, but we just don't have that answer yet scientifically. Maybe you'll be the next person that discovers that. What is wrong with that? Nothing. Because and that's that is where what we're the at. And that is what the textbooks say. You're, you're, the, the textbooks that, that you have approved and that you will be looking at in the future generally say that. They provide several uh, working hypotheses about the origin of life and say we don't have a consensus yet. And that's accurate. But it's the job of science to try to explain natural phenomena using natural causes. Okay. Okay, as, you, as one of my philosopher friends says, to say nothing of God is not to say that God is nothing. The fact that you don't say, and one of these options is okay, God went uh, poof, doesn't mean it's not science. Let, let's, uh, 